Back now on the town hall, while President Trump was not at today's inauguration, Vice President Mike Pence was, along with his wife Karen. Here you can see the Harrises and the Pences leaving the Capitol building following the inauguration and sharing a brief moment together as Harris and her husband make history today. The vice president carries the hopes, dreams, expectations, and even stereotypes of every woman and woman of color who ever imagined a job at the highest level of government here in the United States. That is no doubt a huge weight to carry, but one I suspect she carries with great pride. Yeah, and it's worth noting, Harris is the first person to uh, be serving in an administration at this level to have graduated from a historically black college or university. Two on your side's Karis Belger spoke with two local graduates of Harris's alma mater Howard University in Washington, D.C. to find out what this moment means to them. Imhoff. It's just an example of what can be done, you know, the product of a Howard University graduate or even an HBCU. There's no debating the historic nature of Kamala Harris's election. For Jessica Blakely and Jennifer Dublin, this moment is even more special. But she's also showing a lot of us that it is okay to be who you are. Both women tell me the victory is even sweeter because of the special connection they have to Vice President Kamala Harris. I did go to Howard University in Washington, D.C. For me, it just was a wonderful place to be. Howard University, or the Mecca as some call it, is right in the nation's capital. It's a historically black college founded in 1867. Like Harris, Jessica and Jennifer are alumni of the institution. The university is where Kamala Harris earned a bachelor's degree and became a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the oldest black sorority in the country. Years later, Jessica and Jennifer did the same. And just knowing that, you know, we walked the same yard, we attended lectures in the same hall, just knowing that we had that connection, uh, it was amazing. They say, like their own experiences on campus, Kamala's years at Howard will help her bring a unique perspective to her new role. Ultimately, her quest for social justice, which was founded in her roots at Howard University, tie into all of those things and make her that dynamic leader. COVID restrictions and increased security mean they can't return to their alma mater to celebrate the way they'd like, but both women do intend to cheer on their fellow bison from a distance. As I'm sure people did across the country, add that just, just to the long list of firsts that were accomplished today by Vice President Kamala Harris. Right, what goes through my mind is I've often in this career borrowed a line from Jackie Kennedy who said, I am a woman above everything else. And in that vein, I wanna take this opportunity to say, it is about time. Yeah, absolutely. And hearing so many people, no matter their political stripes, say that today um, was something very encouraging, I think. Particularly for the future. Yeah.